What up, music fans? I'm Mixmaster L, and this is my co-host, DJ Bud. So what's going on today? Well, you guys asked for it, so we're bringing it to the table for you guys. The top five studio headphones for under $100. Now, many of these headphones, I've actually heard at Sam Ash and other places. In fact, a few of them I own, like these AKG 240s Mr. Bud here is uh, listening to. And a couple of them I just chose because, well, they had outstanding ratings. But you guys asked for it, so let's jump in and let's check out the top five studio headphones for under 100 bucks. All right, folks, so first up is a pair of headphones that I've been using many, many years. Mixed lots of songs, lots of albums with these. Now, these are the AKG K240. Now, these things are really badass. They're very soft. They're very comfortable. When I bought these things, they were like $214, but you can now get these things for actually 80 bucks. That's right, $80. Now, these things are pretty much completely flat. They're very nice. They don't have a lot of bass to them. There's actually not much color to them whatsoever. So for mixing and doing that kind of stuff, I have to say, I highly recommend these ones and they're under a hundred bucks now, which is an absolutely great deal. Next up, we have the Audio Technica. Now these are the ATH M40X headphones. Now these things are totally professional. These things are geared towards the studio as well. Now I haven't personally listened to this exact pair, but the reviews are great on them. So I'm sure many people out there like them. I know some people out there said before, hey man, if you don't actually own these headphones, how can you say this? Well, I've gone out many times to stores and listened to different headphones. These ones I'll admit I didn't particularly hear, but if I go out and I see a lot of ratings, other people are saying, hey, these are great headphones. I'm often opted to check out these out and see if I'd like to purchase these for myself. So these ones right now are currently 99 bucks. They're on sale. I have some other versions of these headphones that are a little bit more expensive, but for the price, these are a really good set of headphones that many people are liking. Next up is the Sony MDR7506. Now, these particular headphones, I went strictly because of the ratings. Now these things have almost 3,000 positive ratings for many people across the globe. So obviously a shit ton of people really like these headphones. And these things are currently priced so low that they don't even show you the price. You actually gotta put it in your cart, but they're about $79. So these things are really awesome headphones. You may wanna check them out if you do lots and lots of music stuff. So far, it looks like, hmm, like I said, many people now this next item is actually considered a super DJ headphone, but this thing looks so dang cool. And I listened to a pair of these at Sam Ash and they sound really, really nice. So I don't feel no hesitation at all with recommending these to you. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the Denon DNHP 1000 Super DJ headphones. Now these things are currently only $99 and I have to say, just for looks alone, these things have to be the leader of the pack. These things look all like cybernetic and futuristic and stuff like that. So if you're into that type of thing, hey, these are something you might wanna check out. And like I said, if there's any music stores around your neighborhood, I know some people who live in the country might not have access to this, but if there's anywhere around your neighborhood you can go in and just listen to headphones, just go in, man, spend a day and listen to them and you'll see that all these ones I'm recommending are actually really solid deals and solid performance. Last but not least, something from the people over at M Audio. Now this is their Studio File Q40. Now M Audio makes a lot of solid gear. A lot of their stuff is actually really ranged in the price range that you can afford. So I think these things are gonna be some that are actually affordable and still on the higher end of their products. So it should be really, really solid for people out there. These things are also a very flat response headphone. And if you don't know what that means, that means that basically they're not being colored by too much trouble, too much bass, too much mids. They're kind of like exactly what you're reproducing from your recording. And that's awesome when you're trying to like mix that stuff down and get it to sound that awesome way you want to before you let uh, your friends and others hear it. You know, you want it to sound like the good shit. These bad boys are currently $78 and they're the last on the list. So you guys asked for them, we brought them. Oh, hey, all right, you guys are back. So there you guys go. Now those are all some pretty awesome deals. Every single one of those has a good savings on them and those are all really good headphones for you guys to use in your studio for mixing up your music. Now obviously different people have different versions of what they consider to be the absolute epitome of great sound. So you may wanna still go out and check out some of these headphones for yourself. But a lot of them have many ratings and you can tell the kind of headphone they are just by reading what other people have to say about them. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching very much. You know me, I'm Elric just having a good old time here with Mr. Buddy, you know he's not a DJ, he thinks he is though, right? He says, heck yeah, he's mixing and spinning and mixing and spinning, he's spinning and mixing. 
Well, anyways, down the like button. Hopefully, you guys will go Chuck Norris style on. will be all the information. So, you guys want to get more information or get some headphones for yourself, you can check them out down below. Thank you for watching our another channel called the Music Channel. We bring you music and fun. Bye-bye.